Well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us today for these, these uh, important announcements for our, our Warhawk athletic programs. Uh, I'm going to start with a couple before getting to our interim athletic director. Um, you know, uh, we were very fortunate to have Scott McDonald build a, a great team for us here. Uh, he put us in a great position to move forward, and, and we have a great senior leadership team. But, but Scott's uh, absence will certainly be missed. Uh, he did a lot. He wore a lot of hats for us. So, so I've asked uh, two folks to step up to help us. Uh, the first one of those is Michael Gammon, who will become an Associate Athletic Director for Internal Operations. He will also uh, take on some sport administration duties for us, cover volleyball and baseball. And uh, we're also very excited to announce that Carmen Wright has agreed to be our senior woman administrator. Uh, we're excited about her new role and what she'll do for our, our student athletes. Um, and of course, we're here today to announce uh, Seth Hall as our interim athletic director. Uh, Seth has been with the university a long time. As you probably know, he was a student athlete here on the track and field team. Uh, his brother was as well. Uh, what makes Seth an awesome choice for our interim athletic director position is his experience on campus. He has great relationships across campus, uh, and he loves this university. He, uh, as a former athlete, as a former recruiter, now is our chief strategic officer. Uh, he's had a chance to work within our athletic program to build our new strategic plan. He, probably better than no one, than anyone, knows our internal strengths and weaknesses. He's visited with our alums, our former athletes, our current athletic staff and leadership, our coaches, uh, and he knows what situation we're in. He knows our uh, strengths, our weaknesses, our opportunities, our challenges, uh, and he's ready to go to work with the team to help us take advantage of those strengths and those opportunities. Uh, he has significant experience internationally working in internal operations. Uh, he's an efficiency expert. Uh, he knows how to get things done. Uh, so it is my honor and privilege to introduce to you Seth Hall, our interim athletic director. Seth, come on up. Thank you, Dr. Berry. Um, man, I'm excited to be here. And uh, to hear my mentor introduce me is quite cool. Um, he mentioned that I've got some international work experience. I actually lived in New Zealand for a couple years and worked for a privately owned hotel group and learned lots of stuff there. Um, but I left ULM to go there. And my last week at work, I don't think I've retold this to him, but my last week at work, Dr. Berry was with me with the freshman orientation staff and he told them, you know, I'm happy for Seth to have this opportunity to leave but he's gonna come back. He'll be back. And sure enough, when Dr. Berry became the president, there was an opportunity for me to come back as the chief strategy officer. And I came back because I love ULM, I wanted to work for ULM, but I also wanted to work for a really great person and a, and a great mentor, and I was given that opportunity. And so now that this new opportunity, working with athletics has come to me at least for a little while, I'm very excited to do this. And um, I was the type of student athlete here where I was not a standout. I was not the best runner on our track and field team, but I did run with the best runner. One of my teammates is, uh, holds multiple records here. Um, another teammate uh, finished third at the NCAA track and field championships. I've been with some really great people, and um, my role is normally help and encourage people to be better than they ever dreamed possible. And so that's what I hope to do here um, as the interim athletic director. I was just saying, for me, Seth, for being a student athlete and being involved with ULM for so long, you know, was it emotional when you, I guess, for being considered for this role? Yeah, about a minute ago it was emotional when, when Miss Lisa Miller came and hugged me and said she's proud of me and she was starting to cry and I was like, I'm a, please don't cry right now because I may cry. Um, yeah, it's, it's very emotional, it's exciting. Um, you know, both of my parents graduated from here, my older brother graduated from here, he was the homecoming king, he was very involved, very cool dude here. Um, I love, this is where I grew up. 
I mean, I, this is where I became a man. Um, my dad's name is Olin Hall. There, there was an 11-story dorm building here called Olin Hall. That's my dad's name. Um, ULM means a lot to me. Um, so yeah, very emotional, but, but very excited uh, to get this opportunity. All right, you've officially been on the job for what, three minutes. Uh, what are your goals for this football season? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a great question. Um, so like Dr. Berry said, I was really fortunate to get to work in the strategic planning process. And so that's been going on for 10 months or more. And I've met with hundreds of people through this process, including head coaches, assistant coaches, faculty and staff, um, just as many people as you can imagine I've met with. And so we've done these SWOT analyses where you look at strengths and weaknesses and opportunities and threats. The first thing that I would love to do, and just, just like Dr. Berry said, Scott McDonald did a great job here for four years. And one thing he did that I really appreciate is he welcomed me in with open arms to do the strategic planning process, and he gave me access to everything to learn as much as I could to set us up for success. And so we've looked at strengths and weaknesses, opportunities and threats, and the biggest thing that, that we hear in the media and, and with our friends and family outside is budget. And so that will be something that we address straight away is we would like to become more efficient with the way we spend our money, but we'd like to set up our coaches and athletic administrators to be successful in the fundraising process. There's some, there's some small things I think we can do to give us a little bit more um, processes to set us up for success there. Um, the culture, I think we're, gonna, we're continue to build on the culture here to be a winning culture. Um, but we're gonna change lives. That's the mission of the university is that we're gonna change lives. And so we're gonna change lives in our student athletes, in our coaches, in our community and beyond. And that will be the biggest thing that we do while I'm here. I guess, was there any advice that Scott gave you as he was walking out the door? <laughs> so, yeah, he did. He did. And uh, I, I actually asked him, I confided to him, and I'm like, okay, look, Scott, athletics is the one place in the world where any person on the street can tell you whatever bad thing they want to tell you. They can tell you that you're the worst person ever, and it's okay, because that's what happens in athletics. And so he's like, Seth, you're gonna have to block out any of the stuff that you hear. In fact, a real, I got a really special text today from Congresswoman Julia Letlow, and she said the same thing. Don't listen to what the people say. And, it, and it's funny, um, just a quick story. This morning, I thought, my phone's on fire. It's blowing up, okay? Well, I made a mistake. I poured open Twitter, just for one second. And the very first tweet I saw reminded me that I'm a human. I'm not gonna say who it was, but I saw a tweet that said, ULM is going from having an unqualified fan as the, as the athletic director to a less qualified fan as the athletic director. And I saw it and for a second I thought, oh my goodness, I need to defend myself. I need to tell this person all these things that they don't know about me. <laughs> but I was reminded quickly that my identity is not in that person. On a very personal note, my identity is in Jesus Christ. And so the way I work, I work with things, with principles that come from scripture. I wanna be transparent, I wanna be honest, I wanna love on people, but I'm also gonna be firm and fair. But so I think that's a challenge that I'll face is, is learning to, to block out things from people that maybe don't have a clear picture of what's going on in the department. Do you look at this as a job audition, an opportunity for you to drop the interim tag eventually? <laughs> so we, so uh, I just said we'd be transparent, so I'll be transparent with you. We have a plan. The UL system requires us to do a national search, and so we'll do a national search. Um, my goal is to be an interim, and I really love working directly for Dr. Barry, and I guess if, I, if I'm wildly successful in the next couple months and they want to consider me for that, would I be up for it? Absolutely. Um, but that's not the plan right now. Really, my plan is to come in and be the interim AD and to make some change, to execute our strategic plan that we have in place right now. 